retro is better. We got the good Mario. And our cartridges are durable. Modern is better. We got the better graphics and we add stuff to it with DLC. Hey guys, W here. Just wanted to interrupt you guys for just a second here, just to let you know that I have new sleeves available from Vidigain Dust Sleeves. So please, by all means, go check out Vidigain Dust Sleeves on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for all your custom sleeve needs. Hey guys, Richard W here. What's going on? So yes, uh, we do have another Pickups video. Um, well, not for any particular month or reason or why um these are just things i've picked up over the last couple months and uh well let's get started okay so first um i left out a couple things in my video of my goodwill pickups but uh we have Paddington, which for those of you that know me i grew up watching the Paddington series and love it to death love that animation style and I just love paint it. And then uh, got this for a buddy of mine. We all know who that is. She's a theft. And then uh, I got this uh, because, well, it's kind of nostalgic. And it is in 1976. So. This is the older version, not the re-release, which is awesome. So, about a month ago, uh, me and my bestest buddy in the whole wide world, KJ Del Rey, Lady in Red, um, <laughs> um, we went to a flea market, and after that we went to the mall. So, uh, we picked up a couple things. So, uh, while we were at that flea market well it kind of mission between the two I don't know which ones I got where particularly but yeah so get, get away get away from me all right so we got a few comics um so we got Howard the Duck which I thought looked pretty cool everybody loves Howard the Duck um got a couple of G.I. Joe comics um, for a buddy of mine, which I hope he doesn't have these. Um, and then, you know, I like to go for like the eyeball comics and some comics that I do recognize. So we have The Fly, which I swear to God, this guy looks like he's from uh, the Venture Brothers, you know, as part of the Monarch. Uh, something rather. Um, we got a Spawn comic. We got Weapon X. As you all know, Wolverine. Gotta love that Wolverine. <laughs> and then this reminds to the cartoon style that I, I like. I don't know why I like that cartoon style, but I do, and I tend to go for the oddball comics, the comics that I don't think anybody's ever heard of. So, and then we got another one here called uh, Bogeyman, which as you can see, it looks like it's bears. Yeah, we're picking them. All right, get away. So. This is a combination between the mall and the flea market. But we got some more card packs. Now, if you guys do remember that um, I did uh, a little bit of uh, an unboxing video of random cards from ages ago. So, naturally, I bought some more. Um, got some Pokemon cards, which is a parody on Pokemon, and they even tell you about that. I'll link a video down below uh, to Chadtronic's um, video on Pokemon cards, because he went dive deep on that. And um, 
But yeah, I mean, I could not resist, you know, the chance to get some really interesting older cards, including, um, which I, I have nostalgia just for these packs, the pack sheet and foil alone, like, Yeah, we got some Batman Returns. Look at that. Oh, oh, thumbs it away. <laughs> All right, and then Bill and Ted cards. I didn't know they had Bill and Ted cards. Holy shit. So we got that one. And of course, we got some Dick Tracy. Um, found uh, uh, playing cards of the old classic Power Rangers. And then we have some Ninja Turtles. So, plenty of card packs to open in the future. So, uh, comment down below, which ones would you open first? Like, give me your top five. And I do mean individual packs. Top five individual packs that you would want me to open on camera. Because then we'll, we'll go from there and we'll deal with that as is. Um, and then this guy, oh my god. So, uh, Star Trek Next Generation comes in this nice pack here. I'm like, oh my god, there's a lot of cards. I don't know if you guys can see how many cards are there, but there is a lot. So, um, looking forward to going through these as well. Very cool cards. Um... True story, when I was at the flea market, that um, I found a sealed pack for 10 bucks of the unopened Star Trek cards, which I'm like, mm, no. But then I found this for five, I'm like, deal. All right, bought these online, and it's because I was feeling a little nostalgic and I wanted some more turtles. So we got some more Turtles tapes here. So, um, they're a little jealous of J-Love's uh, Turtles tapes that she has, um, which, okay, you know, I bought some online. Not everybody's cup of tea of how they want to uh, purchase things, but, you know, eBay is my friend. All right. Now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. So, um, this is going to appear in a future video, but uh, <laughs> we found this um, in that shop in the mall. And if you read the bottom here, it says $10 doesn't work. Now, uh, we'll do a future video on me opening this up and fixing it. So, look forward to that in the future. And then, my bestest buddy, oh my god. I, I, I am still blown away by this. My bestest buddy in the whole wide world. Uh, thank you so much again for uh, giving me this lovely, lovely Ninja Turtles collector case. Like, look at this. Like, you got Splinter on the side. Look at that. Just look at that. Oh my god. It looks so cool. And the best part about it. So open it up. And it's got all the little compartments here. Which. Fuck yeah. Which, truth be told, I actually had one for, uh, I believe it was for Star Trek. And, uh. Yeah, um, that one got all used up and uh, really, well, it had to go in the garbage because it was too far gone, which I, this is unfortunate, but you know, I don't have those figures anymore. Come on, sit down. But last but not least, um, 
Oh, no, I'm sorry. I still have a few more things. What am I saying? The last one. I <laughs> uh, we got Freddy Krueger sticker, which uh, I did give my wife a nice um, Sally sticker. Which I'm not sure if that's even going to focus for me. And then we have a uh, Skyward Sword uh, card Amiibo. I got this from eBay. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot uh, show you the listing where I got it from because it was delisted. But thankfully, I was able to get that in time. And then last but not least, my bestest buddy in the whole wide world uh, gave this to me. It's, it's just a box. But it is very cool because it is very minty. It is very, uh, very good condition. What's the sign of it? Oh, yeah. Just the instructions. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Just the little booklets that came with it and stuff. So, with this, and the Mario Party 7 she gave me, and the microphone. And I also have a spare GameCube that looks somewhat like that. Technically, I have that CIB. Which, yeah! I mean, yeah! Sorry. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> this has been an amazing uh, pickups video and I really do appreciate it. Like I said, we'll do more unboxings of the cards uh, later on um, Next video up is going to be me working on the turtles um, uh, Little handheld thing here. We're gonna try and get that sucker to work um, Not sure how I'm gonna do the angles and stuff, but uh, we're gonna figure it out. Thank you guys for watching I really do appreciate it. This is Richard W. Saying have a good morning. Have a good afternoon. Have a good whatever. I'll catch you guys later. Uh-oh, gotta go.